Hello everybody, Eric Bryan here, owner of Precision Air and Heating. Since 1995, we have performed well over 250,000 service calls across the valley. We thought, what better way to share our experience and know-how than answering some common homeowner questions. Adam in Phoenix asks, I have a new air conditioning system, so why are some rooms in my home still warmer than others? Adam, great question. Listen, one of the biggest misconceptions when purchasing a new air conditioning system is that it is going to correct airflow. Please understand that a new air conditioning system has zero to do with the distribution of air into your home. Just about every new manufactured piece of equipment has roughly the same amount of air distributed. In all, the distribution of air in your home is entirely related to your duct system. Most of the time when you're having a residential retrofit of new equipment, you're not being contracted to replace your ductwork. So the natural assumption is I bought a new air conditioner, it should blow air better. Well, it's not. It's going to distribute the air roughly the same as your old one. Okay, what you've bought is better efficiencies and things like that. Here's some important things to notice on some reasons why you might still be experiencing some hot spots. Number one is poor insulation. It's very, very common in new manufactured homes for there to be insufficient insulation. On the older homes as well, insulation has settled over time and it's just the R values are lower than they were when it was first installed. Vaulted ceilings is a big one. It's very difficult in some areas for the contractors that build your home to get insulation into all of these particular spots on the vaulted ceiling and it creates a hot spot. Another big one is broken, kinked ductwork. Keep in mind, you might have just replaced a 15-year-old air conditioning system. Well, the ductwork inside your attic is 15 years as well. It's experienced sagging, fatigue, broken spots. It might have leaks in it. So those types of things might be contributing to that. And another really, really big one, and probably most disguised one, is infiltration. This is when I say infiltration, I'm referring to any opening in your ceiling or your wall to your attic where it's pushing hot air in. Outlets, supply registers, can lights, all of these, if they're not properly sealed, provides an opening for the hot air in your attic to find its way into your conditioned space, okay? Attic ventilation is another big one. If you don't have proper ventilation in your attic to expel the 180 degree heat out of your attic, that also helps contribute to the infiltration being forced into your home. And probably one of the biggest ones is return air. Almost every home that we go to when retrofitting a new piece of equipment is inadequate as it relates to return air. There's generally only one return air in the home. We like to recommend multiple return airs in the home. This simply allows the air conditioner to pull more heat out of your home in multiple areas, which provides much better balanced cooling and a much happier customer. Thank you for sharing your questions. I hope this helps shed some light on keeping your home operating properly and as efficiently as possible. If you have questions regarding your AC, heating, plumbing, or home performance needs, post your questions on our Facebook page and check back for additional videos. Who knows, we might just answer your question next.